first. It isn't good. You're not the victim. Second, if you are not the victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Then, I also must say, place yourself in the position of the victims. The animals are not willing participants in the most biggest holocaust on this planet. Third, holocaust means um, in old Greek the sacrifice of an animal on the altar of God. This your for your information. Then, stop making excuses. Apologize for the way you are living. Make a plea and move forward. Go vegan. There's no excuse against veganism. Place yourself in the position of the victims, the animals. How will you feel if the day you were born, somebody else is already planned the day of your execution? How will you feel if somebody label you stupid and dirty and say your life don't matter it all say that they can do what you whatever they want that you are just an object a tool for them to you be used that you are classified as an inanimate object like a flag like an iphone like a computer that they can sell you to whoever they want. I think you want this evil world to change its ways immediately. And that somebody stand up for your rights to be free. To defend your rights to be free. Instead of ignoring your rights and denying you have ever have rights at all. And make fun of your suffering. So why do you that to other animals and please don't be passive aggressive don't say oh tr don't hurt my f feelings i'm not a bad person i'm just doing what the state says do you know what the problem is with that mate the problem is with that is that hitler's nazi soldiers also used that same excuse from uh, we were not bad people, we are just following orders. This was uh, Nazi soldiers, hey. Or rather, when they were put to the courtroom for the crimes against the Jews, the gypsies, and the mentally ill. If you claim you are a good person, prove it. Words are empty. Animal agriculture is the biggest cost of environmental destruction. It is the biggest cost of world hunger. It is the reason that for any two seconds a child starts from starvation in third world countries. This is the reason that 82 to 84 percent of all the animals raised for consumption are raised in third world countries since that is more is less expensive than raising them in your countries because then you have not to transport the food you don't have to um, have expensive workers so don't go fully retarded me people peace begins on the dinner table by what you eat on a daily day basis. Compassion for all living beings is a mark of a civilized society. Things like slaughterhouses, dog fighting arenas, and rodeos, zoos, vivisection laboratories, and such places of hell, of death, of destruction, of murder. Are marks of an uncivilized cult, mate. Peace begins on the dinner table by what you eat on a daily basis. You can eat beans, you can eat lentils, you can eat 
soy. You don't have to eat the expensive vegan products like veg some vegan cheeses are a bit more expensive. But you can also look at this way. Um, if you eat um, organic uh, cheeses and meat, it is also more expensive. So you can look at a bit like that. There are also very little uh, vegan um, companies that uh, use uh, GMOs. And the only reason that on this moment, most of the time, animal body parts, uh, animal secretions are <sighs> more expensive is because of subsidies. In America, for example, some 90, uh, 80, maybe 19 even, percent of all the food subsidies go to animal agriculture. That's how much money they have. Do you should truly think that a McDonald's Big Mac can be for two euros or two dollars? It takes up to 26, up to 26 pounds of, of plant food to create one pound of animal food, of um, animal based food, body parts. So do the math. You don't have to be Einstein to figure out that McDonald's absolute not can without subsidies this give you such cheap junk so if the subsidies were realistic spread then the fruits will be less expensive than the vegan mock meats are less expensive and also if we put an also uh, eco tax on uh, food then uh, meat will be even more expensive. So, then it can be actually again, see what be the king and queen diet. The wasteful king and queen's diet. The diet that the majority of kings and queens get in the middle age, but today, the majority of the Western people get. And also they get the same diseases. The diseases of wealth. The diseases of gluttony. The diseases of greed. Created by the diseases of malice. Go vegan. There's no excuse against veganism. Accept it. Make a plea and move forward.